Howdy folks, welcome back to Berry Village. We're going to pick up some straw. I have this giant contraption here on the back of the tractor that's basically a giant vacuum cleaner. It's going to uh, run a big fan on the back there via PTO and then it sucks straw up with this little pickup and it's going to blow it back behind. Now it's designed to hook a trailer onto the back of this and blow right into the trailer. But uh, Mr. Mark DuPont being the adventurous type He's going to try to drive behind me and catch it. <laughs> so we're going to see if that works. Uh, let me give him a call on the phone real quick. All right. Want to give this a try? Yeah, I was just telling him uh, how adventurous you were. Let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. So this is going to shoot straight back. So you'll have to, you'll have to follow behind me. All right. Try engaging it and see what it does. You're going to have to scoot over. It hangs off the side of my tractor. Whoa! Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get this thing figured out. I have unfold pipe first. All right. Wrong key. There we go. Oh, it's making whirring noises. There you go. Starting up. There we go. Uh-oh, we're not moving. Why are we not moving? There it goes. Nope, not working. Yeah, you right, have to... I'll drop, I'll drop this oh. here. Hang on. Yeah, you gotta be okay. right... You gotta be right behind. Oh, you think if I fall right behind you, it'll, get, it'll hit it? It might. I mean, it shoots it straight back, so that'll be okay. your best bet. Nope, I'm not Whoop. getting any. Alright. So Abort failed. mission. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. I'll just card it for you. Alrighty. This is a big thing back there. I can't I can't see where I'm going. I can sort of see the trailer in the middle. A little bit more right right about there, right about there. You should be good. Oh, there you go. There Woo. you go. I heard stuff happening. Yep, it's all hooked in now. All right, I'm gonna see if I can back up just a bit so I can start again. There we go. All right, monstrosity engaged. Nope, oh, need to hit that button. There we go. I'm sucking up straw, so I assume it's blowing straw back there somewhere. Uh, not yet. No, no, we're we're clogged up somewhere. All right. Well, when all else fails, go to drone view and hit the F1 key. I got to remember how this thing works. Yeah, no, that looks like it's all set up right. Well, you got some in there earlier, so you have to bring down your header a bit more. No, it was down. It's like it's not blowing into the trailer. Let me circle around here. I've only used this with the, the small in-game trailer. Right. But I assumed it would work with just about anything. And we'll do a little experimenting on today's episode. Science. It's all about the science. Alright, sucking up now. Yeah, it's not uh, not picking up for some reason. It dumped some in there. Yeah. Well, as soon as you backed into the trailer, it dumped a whole bunch in there. There it goes. Oh, uh, I bet the like the auto aim target or something's too far back on this trailer. I bet that's what's going on. Ah, uh, okay. And when it kinks back like that, it can reach it. Uh, okay. Hang on. Let me get you another trailer then. All right, back in the cab here, folks. Eh, we're going to see if we can get that sorted out. And we'll be right back. All right, folks, we got a trailer. Got a trailer that works. And it's rusty, so it fits right in. It's beautiful. <laughs> so let's go pick up some straw. All 
All right, Mark, this trailer's working out beautifully. Perfect. So I'm going to play uh, Merry Maid here and just vacuum everything right up. Excellent. We still haven't figured out where we're going to store all that stuff. Nah, maybe stick it under a tree in this trailer. I don't know. I don't know how much this holds, and I can't see the trailer back there, so. Yeah. I guess when the pickup gets clogged, then I'll know I'm full. There you go. Yeah, I think I could probably put it underneath these trees over here in the trailer farm. Maybe build an old shed for it at some point. Yeah, just somewhere we could dump it in and take it out with the uh, grapple as we need it. That's it. Can you see my trailer? I don't have any idea how full I am. Let me just pull up behind you there. Oh, you got more room. All right, cool. We'll keep uh, Powler in there, then. I think that trailer is probably around 20,000 liters, so... Oh, I can see in the turn now. Yeah, we're only yeah. maybe half full, if that. Yeah, I think you might have a little bit more at the back than you do at the front, but uh, so far so good. Yeah. Just keep an eye on it for when it's uh, packed in. Oh yeah, lots of room. Cool. Love all the uh, the belts and pulleys and everything on this thing. It's very oh, well it's animated. Isn't it? Yeah. Now you did a little bit of work on that thing too, right? So now it uh, it runs with your mouse to get to bring it up and down. Uh, no, it, it used to be manual, and it was it was just all kinds of weird the way they had the controls set up, and you had to manually lower it with the mouse. So I, I set it up, uh, redid the controls and tweaked it. So it, it basically works like a fort, like a loading wagon now. Oh, uh, okay. And they had uh, they had it set up. I think so. You had to unfold it and put the pipe. You still have to put the pipe out, which does nothing. It's just right. a giant's thing. But you used to have to unfold it, which also did nothing. I got rid I of think, that. I think you're almost full there. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me okay. to dump it for you, or you want to bring it down here? Uh, it don't matter if you want if you want to dump it. I can just drop it or whatever. I'll come and get it. I'm I'm a little bit ungainly with this thing hanging off the side of me. So. Yeah, I understand. I'm keeping an eye on the pickup here, see when it. See when it's done. We got something going with our CB radios. Must have some sunspots or something. <laughs> We're cutting out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of technical glitches. All right, I'll let me see if I can drop that here. I think I need to push that button, then that button. I heard yep, a big clunk back it. there. This has a little bit of internal capacity. I'll get some of these little spots here while you're dumping. Okay. I think it holds about maybe four or five hundred oh, in, okay. the sh in the chute. Now I gotta get which side does it open on. I'm guessing the left side. Just mash buttons till it works. Yep. Good old theory. Works every time. This has got a uh, nice little sound on it too that I I didn't notice on the uh, Black Mountain series. I think because the tractor was so much louder in the cab. 
Yeah. I can hear that big fan whirring back there behind me. It's pretty cool. Oh, neat. All right. That's a nice big pile. It's a little bit heavy for my little Renault. Oh, yeah? Struggling a little bit? A little bit. Definitely feeling the uphill. All right, I'll hook it up. Do you want me to put it at the bottom there or drop it off uh, behind you? Oh, uh, yeah, just wherever. Yeah, maybe just put it behind you. As long you. as I can get pointed at it and see it in the mirror. Excellent. I can see it in one of my rearview mirrors. Yeah, a little bit to your right, just a little bit more to the right. There, right there, straight back. Nope. A little bit more back, and there. Good chunk. All right, thanks, sir. Nailed it. All right, I think I need to come back up here and head down the field. So next step after straw is sugar beets, right? That's it. All we got left after that is the sugar beets, and we're good to go. Awesome. Looking forward to uh, the contraption you got lined up yeah. to do that. Whenever possible, don't use the in-game, right? That's right. We were talking about this yesterday, how the uh, the only in-game stuff we're using is basically the uh, the front the front loader forks. Yep. Other than that, this is an entirely modded game. Yeah, we're both using the uh, the stall stupers, but the, yeah. uh, the attachments for it are the in-game. And then we've got in-game chainsaws. And that's really about it. Yeah. My Fortress tractor is, it's a mod, it's an official mod, but it's still a mod. It's off the yeah. mod hub. Are the stall ones from the mod hub too, or are they from outside? Uh, yeah, the forks are from the mod hub, I believe. Okay. Alright, how full? I've got plenty of room. I love, oh, like, yeah. the ripped chicken wire on this trailer. That's awesome. I know, it's awesome, man. <laughs> You find the best old crap. I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> it doesn't all work, but it's pretty cool looking. It's pretty hard to screw up a trailer, but they can do it. Yep. This one seems it's to be funny. working all right. It's funny sometimes how after going through all the, the trouble they do with textures and uh, and building custom models and stuff like that, that the basics get missed. Yeah, it's kind of like strange. The, the attachers and the triggers and the amount of time I've had to spend on attachers is just ridiculous. Yeah, and you'd think that'd be the easy stuff, but I guess to them maybe models and textures are easy, whereas for me that's maybe, hard. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Didn't quite get lined up there. You're doing good, though. I love the little smoke coming off the front of it. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's a great mod. Did you want to give it a whirl on your no, tractor, no, no, or you can hop in here? Doing, you're doing. You're doing good then. All right. I'm just spectating this one. 
Looks like it's about half full or so. Awesome tool for doing this kind of work. Yeah, I don't. I I wouldn't want to do like a field thirty with this, but for little stuff, it's great. Yeah. And it only takes thirty horsepower, so you can throw it on anything. That's it. And you don't even need a front PTO for it. It just nope. everything works off the back. Yep, hooks right on the three-point and runs the blower with the PTO. That's about all there is to it. It's even got uh, pass-through host connections on it. You can plug your trailer brakes in. Yeah. I didn't even look. Does this trailer you found have hoses on it? I think it does, yeah. Nice. That's one thing I'm noticing a lot of the modders are doing, is they are getting the hoses right. Yeah, with it being in-game now, where you can just kind of say, you know, put the connectors here, it's it's much simpler now. Yeah. You might be able to get the rest of the field in there. Might, yeah. It's getting, getting down to the wire here. Using a lot of brake here. <laughs> this is it. Looking pretty full back there. We'll keep going until it stops, I guess. Ah, uh, listen to the little orange beast roar. Love it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, is it full now? Yep. All right. Turn that off. Open it. Get, make sure I'm straight here and I'll drop it. I think it's that button. There we go. It's a team spectator sport here. Yeah. Oh, maybe it doesn't have. Oh, no. Yeah, it does have hoses. Okay. Yeah. I like, do, I like the tires on that. Yeah. Kind of low and squatty. It's got great rust on it, too. Oh, yeah. It's worth it for the price submission on the rust alone. <laughs> we'll put up with a lot of fixes needed if it's got a, enough rust on it. Yeah. They're going to put the energy into the texture work? I'll buy Yep. So Mark, I'm going to sign off with the folks and I'll be right back with you. All right, no problem. All righty. Well, he's going to dump that. And I think we'll call it here. We'll make it a little bit of a shorter episode today. We're just picking up some straw. And next step is sugar beets. So we're going to get a harvester up here. See if we can get some sugar beet going. Then we got lots of stuff to feed the piggies. And... Lots of straw, too. So we're in good shape. Thanks for hanging out, as always, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.